with one that most people probably haven't heard of, um, but it's a little thing called the metaverse. And I'm not gonna, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm not gonna talk much about it. There are so many articles and uh, experts who are taking their best guess, um, but it is something that is happening and it is uh, here and headed our way. And we have to figure out how, what cool ways we can use it, right? And, 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 um, and benefit from it. So what, what we really see is it for especially kind of briefing centers is kind of creating that digital twin of a center. You can visit it virtually, even if you're planning on going to the center, maybe you want to check it out just to, um, you know, see what parts you want to want to focus on or visit the most, or just to get an idea, um, try to ease any anxieties, what, what have you. Um, and, and, you know, you can also, while you're at the center, it can play back into the virtual world. If you have, you know, create your own NFT or uh, do something um, kind of like that, where it's, you know, kind of a, a blend of the two. Um, but, you know, people are, people want to be in uh, physical space. We just hadn't, you know, had to be locked away for two years in our homes and, and people are just craving to be out experiencing uh different things um uh, and but the you know the important part for all of this is that let's use it as an augmentation to the human experience right let's let's make things a little easier to do from both the physical and digital worlds let's try to blend them together as much as possible but that's kind of my take on it is is that this is not a replacement for uh experiences it's more of a um you know an enhancement or a uh, augmentation, if you will. So I just wanted to note on that, just because obviously it's the future and, and being in technology, um, you know, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention it. Um, something you get the I question a lot, I guess, right? Uh, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, imagine. But yeah, it, I mean, it is it is exciting. And and again, the, the, the digital and physical worlds fusing those two things together, very exciting opportunity. And, and it, it's really going to help um, all of us kind of grow. Um, yeah. Sid mentioned before gamification, which I love. I love making people or having people compete and uh, have fun. And it, it kind of breaks the ice when people show up to a space and they get to learn at the same time. But um, the future of gaming engine content and AI is really going to drive this to a whole new world that we've never seen before. 